Hello everyone, how's it going? In this video, we're gonna create a simple object tracking application using OpenCV and Python. So I'm gonna show you a quick demo of this and I want to track this particular object here in the window. So I'm gonna click on Escape and it will open up this ROI selector for us and I will select this is my region of interest. So this is gonna be the object that I wanna track. And so it creates this bounding box and you can see how it is tracking. So you know we're not doing any kind of machine learning or object detection here. We are using, however, a tracker-based application. Even though if the object is lost for a minute, it comes back and re-detects the object. So it's a pretty neat application, and we will see how we can do it. So it's a simple application, very small. You can see it's about 29 lines of code. Uh, provided we delete these two lines at the bottom. So it's about 29, 30, well, even 20, if you consider the spaces, then it's even less. So very simple and very easy application. And you, it's all dependent on this particular tracker here. So this is called as a tracker, it's a, it's a KCF tracker. There are different types of trackers. I believe OpenCV has about eight trackers. And KCF tracker is one of the good trackers out there. Uh, they are better than these as well, but in terms of uh, speed and the amount of computation it needs, the efficiency it needs, and uh, running on a cheap laptop like mine, KCF works out perfectly. So we're going to be using the KCF tracker, and you can initialize the tracker by using this tracker CV2 KCF create. Let me comment everything, and that way I can. It makes me. Uh, it makes it easy. For you to focus on what I am talking. So I have commented everything and then gradually as we go about we will uncomment everything. So once we create the tracker and we save the tracker in this and the, this tracker is just holding the information that it's a KCF tracker and we are going to be reading the video file. So we're reading it through the video capture. I've provided one because I'm using a secondary webcam here and if you're using your default you can just put down zero here. But in my case, I'm just using a secondary webcam and the reason for that, I'm uh, opening one here. So it, uh, op it creates that capture file here and saves it into the window. And now you can go into creating your region of interest. And for that, I'm creating this while loop, which keeps on reading the image from the video.read, keeps on reading the images that are coming out of the webcam and displays the uh, videos and displays the uh, image onto the frame onto the window using the variable uh, I am show. This function I am show allows us to read and display the image and it also we are using the wait key just so that the I am show function works properly. Now it's going to look for this k is equal to 27 which is not, nothing but the escape button on your keyboard and it's going to look for the keyboard press of escape button and the moment you press that it will go and close the I am show. It will close the I am show, and it will create. I'm sorry. It will. It will not show. It will not uh, close the I am show, but it will come out of the while loop. So this while loop, which was uh, technically just reading this video frame, and it was displaying the video, so it looked like a seamless via webcam reading. At the moment you press escape, it is going to break the while loop and just come out of it. So when that will pause the video for a quick second and it will run this new command, which is the select ROI. And select ROI is nothing but I've created another video on my channel. I'll, I'll link the uh, link for, I'll put the link for the video in the description if you need more information on the select ROI. And select ROI is an open CV function that allows us to select and create that ROI, that bounding box that we were interested in. And we save that bounding box into the BB box variable here. Now we are simply going to initialize the tracker using the tracker initialize I, I in it. And we're initializing it on the frame, which we are reading on from the webcam. And we are using the uh, bounding box that we had obtained in this uh, step. So once we create the initialization, it just returns a, a Boolean function, just letting you know that the initialization was done or not. 
So once you're done with the uh, initialization, uh, I'm not interested in keeping the ROI selector window. Uh, notice when you run the select ROI, it creates a new window for you. And the, that window is supposed to be kept open and as per OpenCV, it doesn't close by itself. So I'm using a destroy window function because I don't want to keep that uh, ha keep the ROI selector hanging around for no reason. So I'm just destroying the window by using the destroy window and I'm specifying what window that I'm interested in destroying. So the, the name of the window that OpenCV creates for using the uh, select ROI is called as an ROI selector and I'm just pressing the uh, information to the destroy window and hence it destroys the window for us and keeping just the tracking window open for us. Once we have specified and once we know what the bounding box is, we are now going to use the while this while loop in order to track the particular box and we do that by now starting to read consecutive frames so remember it was paused because we uh, the the image images coming out of the webcam were paused because we had done the while loop and the moment it breaked out of it it stopped the reading but now we are creating another while loop in order for us to do the tracking so here I'm going to do video dot read, and this video dot read is going to read all the frames coming out of the webcam, and we are using the bounding box, and we are updating that bounding box based on the tracker, which is the KCF tracker, which we had initialized here. So we're using we're going to be using the tracker, and we are going to update that frame. So the, this tracker is going to look into that frame for that particular bounding box using that uh, bounding box that we had specified here and then look for that uh, bounding box and then save it into this new uh, bounding box. So this uh, it's just updating the bounding box. It's letting the uh, OpenCV application know that the new bounding box or the new location of the object in the frame is here. And this bounding box now we have, once we have the information of the coordinates of the bounding box, we are just trying to create the rectangle out of it. So we know for our visual uh, understanding, it displays the object for us. So you can see that it's uh, able to create this points. So we are creating these two points, pointer one and pointer two. And the pointer one is nothing but the top left coordinate of the box. And the pointer two is the bottom right coordinate of the box. And once we know the two pointers, we're just uh, providing the information to the rectangle here. And you're letting the rectangle know that you have to draw the box or the rectangle or the box onto this frame here and you're just going to specify the pointer one and pointer two by giving out the variables here and this is the color and i'm I, i'm using 00, 0 255 which gives out red color and these are the thickness and the uh, you know the bounding box of the rectangle the property of the bounding box of the rectangle once we do that if you're just showing the image onto the window and it's we're using the same window tracking so we notice that we have used tracking here and we're using the same window so it updates on the same window and it does not create any more extra windows for us and we're using the same frame window same uh, the frame that was now updated with the rectangle we used a cv weight key and this is going to allow us to display the im show so it, it's you can see how simple it is it's only 29 lines of code and uh, th this is using the kcf tracker if you're interested in the other trackers let me know uh, be happy to, up to update you but if you look under the OpenCV website there are about eight trackers and you just need to change this tracker like uh, the mil tracker or the, there are various other trackers then you just need to change this particular variable into whatever tracker you're trying to in, uh, you draw, you're interested in or you're trying to run Every tracker has its own pros and cons. Uh, I mean, the KCF is very good, but it does not it does not work very well when there's occlusion in it. Um, I believe uh, Satya Malik from Learn Open CV has a very nice, uh, very nice uh, blog on it. Uh, if you want, I can leave the description uh, link to his uh, description here. And uh, I do have also. Uh, the, everything uploaded on the github account and i'll leave the uh, link to the code in the description here for you so you can try it on yourself but you can see it's pretty easy uh, and, and uh, very, very nice easy object detection object tracking sorry 
Uh, but uh, object detection makes me realize that we can simply use this particular tracking algorithm, these uh, tra tracking algorithms on our object detection. So we can do object detection and then uh, by having the object tracking into it, you can now track different types of objects automatically without even specifying the ROI because the object detection can do it for you. So with that, we come to the conclusion of this video. If you like the video, if you like the content, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. And if you like uh, such videos, let me know. And if there's anything that you're particularly interested in or you're working on and you need help with, leave a comment and I'll be happy to make a video for you. So with that, I will sign off. Take care, stay safe, goodbye.